Hi guys, welcome back to Excel and MathSci. So today we will be looking at a question um, which is based on, the solution is based on the quotient rule. So the curve with the equation y equals to 2 minus sine x over cos x has one stationary point at the interval minus pi over 2 and pi over 2. Find exact coordinates of this point and determine its nature. Okay, in order to differentiate this, we'll be making use of the quotient rule. What we're going to do, we're just going to define what f and g is. So our f and g, so we have, for f and g we have, so f, we will take that as 2 minus sine x. So that's 2 minus sine x. So f dash, so that's differentiating this function with respect to x. That will give me minus cos x. And our g, that's simply equal to, our g, that's simply equal to cos x. And if you differentiate that with respect to x, we get minus sine x. Now substituting all these into the quotient row, so we get, that would be f over g dash is equal to, so f dash, we've got is minus cos x, we'll use the dot for multiplication, and g that we have, that's simply just cos x, and that would be minus, so g dash that we have, that is minus sine x, so we multiply that with the f, which is 2 minus sine x. And that's all over g squared, which is cos squared x. Smooth this up a bit. Now if I tidy this up, that would give me, so minus cos x times cos x would simply give me minus cos squared x. And that will give me plus 2 sine x minus sine squared x and that's all over cos squared x now i'm going to use make use of this identity okay and then this would simplify this down to 2 sine x minus 1 over cos squared x. Now what I'm going to do, so this is my um, simplest form, so I'm going to then use the fact that for stationary points, use a condition for stationary points, basically this whole thing, differentiated function or the gradient function is equal to zero. In other words, f over g dash is equal to zero. Now we need to be careful with this because we can't make this cos squared x equal to zero. So it's just a top bit because that'll be undefined. So if we work out this and solve this trigonometric equation, so we got two sine x minus one. And if we solve this, of course that's equal to zero. So sine x is equal to half x is equal to pi over 6. So I've got my stationary point, the x coordinate of the stationary point. Now substituting into y is equal to 2 minus sine x over cos x. So I'm going to sub this in. That would give me 2 minus so that's sine of pi over 6 over cos pi over 6. So that'd be 2 sine pi over 6, simply just a half. And cos pi over 6 is be root 3 over 2. And that would simplify down to root 3. So the 
coordinates of the stationary point is as follows. So it's pi over 6 and root 3. So the next step would be to draw up a nature's table. Okay. And what we need to do is we need to get values between 0 and pi over 6, okay, and substitute them into our differentiated function and see how they, whether it will be positive or negative. So if x was between 0 and pi over 6, we would get a negative if we substitute that in. And when x is equal to pi over 6, of course, as a stationary point, so it will be 0. And when it's between pi over 6, and pi over 2, the gradient function will be positive. So we get a negative 0 and a positive gradient. So therefore, we have a minimum, minimum turning point at pi over 6 root 3. So this will be my final answer. Okay, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you for watching the video.